your bite-sized daily roundup of the biggest news from the world of film. This is The Daily Reel with Van Connor. Good morning, it's Tuesday and it's the 11th of May. Birthday to the likes of Jeffrey Donovan, Shoria Dashlu and Tim Blake Nelson. But movies have birthdays too. Road Trip turns 21 years old today, fittingly making it a legal drinking age in the US. A Knight's Tale turns 20, Dark Shadows is 9 years old, and the Angry Birds movie, much like its audience, it's 5 years old today. But back in the here and now, here's what's happening. 2022 Golden Globe Awards have been cancelled by NBC. Not because of COVID, nor their abysmal ratings trajectory. No, the news comes on the back of a mass industry protest against the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, the organization that runs the ceremony. The HFPA's rough time began back in February, when it was revealed that remarkably the entire outfit has exactly zero black members. In response, this year's Globe saw an entire segment devoted to the HFPA attempting to save face, the tone-deaf results only hammering the issue home harder. Since then, a vast litany of creative giants have come out in protest against the organization, including the members of Time's Up, Color of Change, and the Directors Guild of America. However, the final nail in the coffin seems to be the news that Hollywood legend and three-time Golden Globe winner Tom Cruise would be returning his awards as a show of solidarity. Following that, it was all downhill for the event. Despite vague platitudes earlier in the week about doing better and striving to make change, the HFPA have been notoriously slow to act. Unwilling to wait any longer, broadcaster NBC have now announced that they have cancelled next year's show, stating, We continue to believe that the HFPA is committed to meaningful reform. However, change of this magnitude takes time and work, and we feel strongly that the HFPA needs time to do it right. As such, NBC will not air the 2022 Golden Globes. Assuming the organization executes its plans, we are hopeful we will be in a position to air the show in January 2023. In response, the team behind the awards ceremony issued a hastily drawn together statement of their own, which said, regardless of the next air date of the Golden Globes, implementing transformational changes as quickly and as thoughtfully as possible remains the top priority for our organization. Whether the bell has finally been rung for the Golden Globes remains to be seen, but one thing's for certain, Ricky Gervais, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler at least get the night off next year. Many talented people of colour were snubbed in major categories. Um, Unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. The Hollywood foreign press are all very, very racist, so... Crax the Destroyer himself, Man Mountain Dave Bautista has joined the cast of Ryan Johnson's Knives Out sequel. The Guardians of the Galaxy star will join Daniel Craig's sly southern super sleuth Benoit Blanc in a new tale that'll again see the master detective forced to solve a complicated crime with a laundry list of suspects. Johnson, also known for his work on Star Wars The Last Jedi and Looper, will return to write and direct the project, which was recently at the centre of a fierce bidding war. The auction was won by streaming heavyweight Netflix, who paid upwards of $450 million for two sequels to the 2019 mega-hit. No release date nor title have been said as yet, but production will kick off this summer in Greece. Dave Batista, meanwhile, can next be seen in Zack Snyder's zombie action flick Army of the Dead, which is due on Netflix on the 21st of May. Do not ever call me a thesaurus. It's just a metaphor, dude. His people are completely literal. Metaphors are gonna go over his head. Nothing goes over my head. My reflexes are too fast. I would catch it. And finally, Hollywood Wunderkind's Phil Lord and Chris Miller have lined up their next project, an adaptation of Michael Lewis's non-fiction bestseller, The Premonition, a pandemic story. The Premonition's a spiritual sequel to his novel The Big Short, adapted a film in 2015 by Adam McKay, which saw a gaggle of financial experts attempting to profit off of an impending economic recession that seemingly only they could see coming. Similarly, Newis's new book follows a wide cast of dedicated people who attempted to stress the seriousness and fatal danger of ignoring the potential of the COVID-19 virus. Lord and Miller are the team behind such hit franchises as 21 Jump Street, The Lego Movie, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, and Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and are set to direct an adaptation of author Andy Weir's follow-up to The Martian, Project Hail Mary, which will star Ryan Gosling. The Premonition is currently without an official screenwriter, but studio Sony Pictures is said to be hoping the directorial team will also pen the script. Pre-production is expected to begin in earnest later this year, with no release date known as yet. 
Here's Margot Robbie in a bubble bath to explain. Basically, Louis Rainieri's mortgage bonds were amazingly profitable for the big banks. They made billions and billions on their 2% fee they got for selling each of these bonds. But then they started running out of mortgages to put in them. On digital from today, you can pick up the British crime drama The Moment Trap, The Lennon Dream, while Netflix are adding the African romance Dear Affie, Mubi are adding Gore Verbinski's American remake of The Ring, and last year's acclaimed chiller Relic comes to shudder. If you're looking for cinematic entertainment on Freeview, meanwhile, options today include Secret in Their Eyes on Five Star, Jason Momoa's Braven on Sony Movies, Resident Evil Retribution on the Horror Channel, For Your Eyes Only and Schwarzenegger's Total Recall on ITV4, and Transcendence and Mission Impossible Fallout on Film 4. While the Sky Cinema and now premiere today is the bonkers Will Wheaton psycho thriller Renter Pal. That was the Daily Reel for Tuesday, May 11th. Keep it cinematic and we'll see you tomorrow. The Daily Reel is a Candy Saw production presented by Van Connor and written by Calvin Prickett. All information is correct at the time of writing and source links are in the description for each episode. Don't forget to rate, review and subscribe on all good podcast platforms or ask Alexa to install the Daily Reel skill for your morning flash briefing. Follow the show on social at Daily Reel Pod and we'll be back every weekday. Until then, keep it cinematic. Cinematic.